Because I'm going to just put it out there. I have four bodies. Oh, okay. That's no? good. That's good. That's really good. Is it really? Very good. Because you know what's so crazy? I'm, I've am i always been like a person that's self-conscious about huh? myself. Like I've always been self-conscious about my body, you know? Mm -hmm. I've always been like, I don't want to have too many bodies, but I also don't want to have too little bodies that I don't know how to do anything. You know what I'm saying when it yeah. comes time to it. So I do feel like I'm very like experienced. You have to have some knowledge. Exactly. I do feel very experienced, but at the same time, I don't want too much bodies because. It's like, what are you doing? What are you, not even what are you doing? Because honestly, to each their own. To each their own. Because people think differently. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just like, some people are like, okay, I want to fuck everybody and don't feel no way about it cool and some people are like i'm more reserved like me i'm more reserved i'm more like hesitant to give somebody my body just because i don't know your intentions you know what i'm saying yeah so for me that's why i only have four bodies and every fourth body every four body i was with i've been in a long relationship with you know like that's talk cool. about like future like we talk about marriage we talk about kids we talk about what we want to do in life like you know not just no regular like oh i'm talking to you we're dealing and i'm gonna fuck you Nothing you have to like have that. some heart and ambition to do exactly. that. Exactly. Like, like you know I know saying? that you and me are together. Like, if I go outside and somebody says, oh, are you his girl? I'm like, yeah, I'm his girl. Confident about it, you know? I've never had a situation where I'm like, oh, I don't know. Or, oh, we're just talking. Never that. I'm not give up. Pum pum. <laughs> for somebody I'm just talking to. Nah, give it up. So easy. Yeah, that's for sure. That's one, one thing people like about me. I don't give it up like that. And I know it's good, too. <laughs> what do you mean the one night stand? I mean, one yo, night I've stand. never had a one night stand. Yo. <laughs> I've never had a one night stand, but I've always oh, wanted to have a one night stand. A lot of stand. people have had one night stands. Because so I kind of like, want to know what it's like. Like, how do you just, you know, fuck somebody, get up, and just go about your business? Just keep it moving. That's some real adult shit, though, you know? That's some real, like, I got shit to do. It takes a lot of maturity yeah. to go through that. Because me, once I fuck, I get attached. Like feelings and everything. Once like I what fuck, Jada Kingdom was talking yeah, about. Yeah, digmatized. Just, about, <laughs> you fuck me, whatever she said, fam. <laughs> she said that's a lot my of things. Song, that's she my said, song too. That's my song too. But like, bro, yeah. you fuck me. Once we have sex, once we have intercourse, the next day, I don't know, I just have a new awakening. Not even the next day, the moment of. I just have like a, okay, I gave you my body. I was confident in giving you my body. So what's next? You know what I'm saying? Right. Now it's like, okay, you need to give me something, you know? Yes. And I never want to pressure a nigga to give me something that I don't really want to give me something. That's why I always try to be, be clear. Like, if you don't want to give it to me, you don't have to give it to me because then you're going to waste my time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to give it to me, make sure you're 100%. And that's what I've gotten so far. Well, I don't know in the beginning, but not at the end. But, you know, mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that you're 100%. You know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. I don't know if that made sense, but like... It, make, it makes sense, though, trust me. I feel like a lot of people will be able to connect to what you're saying, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's, it's different, so... You yeah. have to have a different level of mentality to understand that. just want to make sure, you know? Because mm -hmm. that's why, that's why. And I also feel like, you know who I watch a lot? <laughs> Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Cause some bitches be like, oh him, but Andrew Tate. I fuck with Andrew Tate. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care what nobody fuck with says. Him. I uh, uh, fuck with uh, Andrew uh, Tate. Uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I fuck with him, and I the reason I why let I, a lot of people down. <laughs> he, he's, he's a real funny. nigga still. He's a real he's, nigga. He's That's what I'm saying. Well, sometimes, 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 because I always used to be like, you know. And I'm glad, I feel like I've matured, you know? Because mm -hmm. even though I'm only 20, people say, like, even, like, You don't listen, even move like a 20-year-old. I don't, because... Move like a uh, 22. Because I've always wanted to be a person, even from when I was in middle school. Niggas used to tell me, yo, I wish I dated somebody like you, because you're so, like, you know? Like, you mm -hmm. know, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes bitches will do shit and just be like, I'm right, I'm right, I know what I'm doing. And you're not right, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I've always had that knowledge, even since middle school. And that's why I never dated nobody in middle school. Because I knew that I wasn't ready for that shit. And I knew I didn't have time for the bullshit. That's why I started dating in high school. And I'm glad I started dating when I dated. Because I just felt like, you know, if I dated in middle school, I feel like I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Mm -hmm. You know? But yeah, Andrew Tate's a real nigga fan. He's a real nigga. Because sometimes when I watch him, I check myself too, you know? 
And I like learn, learning new things, and I like applying the things that I learn into new relationships because I never want to be the same person I was in like an old relationship. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Never, because I feel like you're not growing as a person. You're not learning anything. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So I always want to be a different person. I always want to take what I learned and what I knew and how this person acted and how I handled it, reform that, and then give it to somebody else and be better. So when I watch Andrew Tate, you know, and his brother, the other niggas, I don't know about them, mm -hmm. but his. Andrew Tate and his brother, I feel like are real niggas. They ch they check me for sure. Cause sometimes they'll say some shit and I'll be like, yeah, like what the fuck, like da da da, da. and they'll be like, no. <laughs> and I'll be like, and then they'll explain why no, and I'll be like, okay, that makes sense. And for you ladies out there, I'm gonna just give you, oh fuck, I <laughs> don't don't fall out now. <laughs> don't fall. For now. the ladies out there, for the women out there, all I'm gonna say is is that men don't think like us. And that's what we have to understand, that men do not think like us. So we can't expect a man to do some shit that we would do because that's just not how they think. And that's why we'd be confused by how they act sometimes because we just think like, oh my God, he should be acting like this and he should be acting like that. He's not a bitch, he's a man. So you just have to understand how niggas think, apply that shit, apply it to your answers, apply it to your decisions. When he tries to be assertive, you have to listen to him or try to listen. And just, you know, try to work with your nigga because niggas don't think like us. So we can't be like, we can't be like, oh, if it was me, I would have done this. So he should have done this and then get mad at them. No, we can't do that. We have to understand that they think like this for a reason. And we just gotta roll with that shit. Just roll with it, fam, and you'll have a happy relationship. Talk your shit, queen. You have a happy ass relationship. That's all I have to say. You have a good ass relationship. And that's what I'm going to try and apply. But the thing about this is just niggas keep cheating on me, though. Oh, wow. You know? That's the only problem. Is that I try, I try. Yo, if I called every ex right now, and I had them describe me as a person, I don't have the numbers, though. <laughs> oh, you don't save numbers. Instant, I save, blo no, no, instant I save, block and delete. <laughs> I save numbers. I save numbers, but I only save numbers if I know I can be cool with you, you know? There's only two X's numbers that I don't have out of the four. And that's just because I don't fuck with any of them. Mm. But the other f other two that I have, geez, fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, if I call them and I'd be like, yo, describe me as a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? It's just that some shit, sometimes some shit happens and sometimes they be cheating. Like, even like the whole texting thing. Like, you yeah, know, do you think yeah. texting is cheating? That's yeah. a lot of my situations. Verbally or... Yeah. Yeah, verbally. That's a lot of my situations. A lot of my situations where I feel like a nigga was cheating was always verbal, you know? They yeah. never had sex with anybody. Not, nothing physical, Nothing right? physical, yeah. but just like, oh, I'm trying to hit you from the back, you know, uh, shit like that. That shit gets to you. It gets to me, you know? And then they'll turn, turn around and be like, oh, but I didn't cheat on you, but I didn't cheat on you. But it's like, you did, you know what I'm saying? Because how would you feel? And I always turn the tables on them. I'd be like, how would you feel if I told a nigga I want to suck his dick and do this? Shivering. You wouldn't hang. You'll kill yourself over that shit. That's what gets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you'll kill me and you'll kill yourself over that. So, um, so you telling a girl that you want to fuck her and do all this and you expect that shit not to kill me is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So another thing. If y'all be like, oh... I didn't cheat on her because I didn't fuck no bitch. No, you did cheat on her. Because if you if she if you went through her phone and you seen her do something like that, you would have killed that hoe. And you would have killed a man. But because it's you, it's oh no, I'm it's cool. Like she's just crazy. She's just over exaggerating. And another thing, that's why a nigga tells me, oh, my ex is crazy, my ex is crazy. No, you're crazy. You did something to her, and that's why she's crazy. But you're psychotic, and that's always the truth. Because I know niggas be talking about me, about, oh, she's crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I know I'm not crazy. I'm the chillest bitch you could ever be with. You know what I'm saying? The chillest. I'm the best wife anybody could ever get. 